Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video we are going to download the HTX Companion and then we're going to back up our radio, our Zura radio, and then we're going to update the firmware, the HTX firmware. So first thing we need to do is go and have a look at the computer so that we can go and download the necessary files that we need. So let's switch over to that. Right, first place we need to go is to this website here which is htx.org and the latest release is the Santa release 2.62 so you need to click on that link all the links will be down in the description below and we are going to go to the bottom now if we scroll down we are going to come to the assets and here you'll see the different companion files now I've got Windows so I'm a, a Win64 machine so I need to download this version so all you're going to do is click on that and it should start downloading there we go now just set up your file so that you can organize everything I do this with all the radios I have uh, specific folders that I put everything in so once we've downloaded this we'll be able to install it and there we go let's go to the folder and you can see there it is there's the zip file so what you want to do is to put that somewhere on your computer and then I keep all of them in case I need them again and you're just going to double click it and you need to unzip that file once you've unzipped it you, you know how to install a program you just double click it and install it and you are then ready to go so get back to the computer so let's close this and if I'm going to go down to the bottom where I've got my um, icon so that I can launch HTX when you've installed the program it will ask you if you want to launch it so just go ahead and launch it so now what we need to do is set up our radio profile for every different radio we have we have to set up a profile so let's go over to HTX companion we go to settings and radio profiles now you can see I've already got my uh, Zero Express LRS version set up so let's set up one for the forum one so you're going to say add a profile then we can give it a name there we go now we must to make sure that the radio type is correct and it is you'll see there's all the different options so this has to be radio master zero and my language is English and you will notice I'm sure this is probably on all the radios at the moment because we can't actually update the firmware using companion yet or downloading it it's not set up at the moment the devs are still working on that so but still set this up so that it's ready to go when it is so you need to make sure this is set up correctly so let's go back to this so as you've seen we've got um, at the moment I've got heli uh, helicopter settings which I don't need so I'm going to check that to so say no heli then I do want the lures lures scripts be able to use those and the internal ELRS you see you would have to check this if your radio is an express LRS version you'll check that but we're not going to check that because this is the 4 in 1 uh, version so that's it now I don't normally put a, a splash screen on I'm not worried about that personally but here in the others now I've already set the folders up for this so the first is the SD card structure so I'm going to click select okay so I'm going to go into my radios RC radios and this one is the 4-in-1 and I'm looking for the SD card directory and that's this one but I'm going to go inside because I make a folder on my computer that says it's the exact copy of what's in the radio so I'm going to select not that one that's where I put the releases but this one is the one we need to select so we're going to say select folder the next one is the backup folder so we hit select and we're in the correct radio let's go back and say backups and select then we're going to go down here now because this if this was the Express LRS version we can actually change this from multi to CRSF and set it to that but we're going to leave it on multi because this is the 4-in-1 module I'm going to change my mode you may not need to do this to mode 1 and then my default channel mapping which I always use AETR there which actually matches up with Betaflight 
So then we're good to go. We can say OK. Now you'd need to do that with, if you have two radios like I've got, the Zoro ones, you'd have to set two profiles up for each one. Now let's plug the radio in and do a backup. So first thing we need to do is turn our radio on. Welcome to HTX. Okay, and then we, then we need to plug our radio in the top connector, this one here, and plug it into our computer. Let me just find a spare port. Okay, and on the front, you can see we've got options there. We are going to select storage. Click. We need to go back to Edge TX Companion. And you see we've got icons down here. Now, if you point at it, it will tell you exactly what it's going to do. So we can go read models. Now we're going to click. Now, this error that's come up. This is because the firmware on this radio does not match this a version of companion. So if you get this as a problem, don't panic. It's fine. We're going to sort it out. We're just going to carry on and say yes to back up the radio just in case because this is the first time we've done it. So back to here. Do you wish to continue? Yes. And there we go. Now a document has popped up with all the different uh, models that I've got here, the, but we still need to do something else and that's to go file, save, and we want to make sure it goes in the correct version. Now that's the wrong radio. You can see I've been working on the other radios. This is the four in one. I'm gonna to go to my backup, radio backups folder, and then I'm going to, all I do is put it, what's it, the 24th. I've already done a backup today, but 24 for the second, 22, and I'm gonna call that one. There we go. Click save, and you can see at the top here, it's telling us our file name. We are now, safely backed up our radio. Now, the next thing to do is to download the firmware. Um, we can now close off Edge TX Companion and we are, need to go to this web page. And you can see, now you can actually update from this uh, web user interface if you want to but I'm a bit old school I'm doing it by downloading the file and putting it onto the radio and then I've always got the the firmware on my radio so but you can do it by just plugging in your radio if you want to but anyway let's switch over back to the computer so you can see that's the latest version if we click there you can see all the other versions so obviously we would like the latest one so now we're going to select our radio which it doesn't matter whether you've got the, um, which Zorro you've got, it, you, you've just got that one option. So click there. And now you can see it says flash via USB or download. Now we've made our selections. All we need to do is download the firmware, the bin file. And we're gonna save it under downloads. Okay, it's told us it's finished. So let's go to the downloads folder. And we're going to cut that file from here, go to our radios, go to the correct radio that we're up, going to update, and then put it into the firmware. And there we go. Now, all we need to do, our radios are already plugged into our computer. So we just need to copy this to the right directory or the right folder in the SD card on our radio. So we're going to right click and copy it now. This leaves a copy on the computer and go down until we see the USB drive, which is on the radio. Do not go into this one. Let's leave this one alone. The RM0 is to do with the actual radio, the memory on the radio. So we don't, we don't need to touch that. But what we do need to go is to the USB drive, go into firmware, right click and paste. And there we go. Now, just ignore this one up here. This is the one that was supplied by the radio, which is a pre-release. So we are going to use that file when we do our update. Now we can unplug our radio from the computer. So let's pop back over here. Let's just change directory here so that it doesn't go silly. Close that down. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to eject. There we go. We can unplug our radio. Now, the next stage, 
The next stage is we have to put the radio into bootloader mode to be able to, to uh, update the firmware. Now the way we do this, we need to turn the radio off and it's simple to do. You're going to, I'm going to have to face it back towards me, but you, the two trims there, let me try and get this, to, those two trims, I'm going to push in, hold in and then hit the power button. So let's pop it down here, hold them both in, put the power on. Okay, now I want to show you this. Let me just make sure that focuses. You can see now that we are in, in bootloader mode. That's how we get the firmware onto the radio. So we've got the options we've got there, are write firmware or exit. We're going to write firmware. So we're going to click it. Then another screen will come up and you have to pick the file you just put on the SD card. So that is the bottom one in my case here. And I'm going to click. It then comes up with another screen that says you've got to hold down the enter key to start. So I'm going to push enter and then I'm going to show you the screen so you can see what's happening. There you go. Okay, so writing is complete. You're going to then push the return key. You're going to come up with that screen again. Let it focus and you're going to select exit and we should be good to go. You're and your radio will boot back up again. Okay, we should have updated our firmware. Now we can check this by going to the system file and going right across until we get to the last screen on the, on the system menus, which is there. And you can see it shows us the version. Now it, it will show the same 2.6.0 at the moment because it was a, um, a pre-release that was on the radio when we first got it. But when you get version 2.6.1, you'll be able to go and check that it's there. But we can check it anyway, because if we plug the radio back into our um, Edge TX companion now, we should be able to back it up without any problems. Let's go and have a look. Now I'm plugging the radio in. I'm selecting USB storage. You can hear the computer pick it up. We're going to go to this icon here that says read models and settings from radio. Click it. And there we go. We've got our uh, the problem solved now. So you can see the problem we had at the beginning before we updated the firmware is gone now. So now we can save that file and we've now backed up our radio. So there we go. So that's how you set up where you get companion from, where you get the updates from and how to back up your radio. Now, I can't reiterate more. Every time you change something, even on a model, you go and sit there. You can some models can be very complex, especially with, uh, you know, if you're flying airplanes with multiple surfaces and air brakes and whatever. Every time you've finished one, go and back it up because so many times that has saved me from having to sit another two hours programming the radio again. So always back up and definitely back up before you do anything, including when you do the uh, MPM, the multi protocol module updates within your radio. Well, I hope you found that video useful. And if you did give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.